Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about Argo CD architecture. Once we install Argo CD into a Kubernetes cluster, all the components will be running as pods. Argo CD consists of three core components. First, Argo CD server, which consists of API and web server. Second, we have the repo server. And third, we have the application controller. For the Argo CD server, it is the only component that you need to interact with. It exposes an API that's responsible of application management, application operation, and the creation of repos and the clusters. And you can authenticate to Argo CD using this component. Also, the CLI interacts with Argo CD server. And if any system want to integrate with Argo CD, Argo CD exposes API of REST and gRPC. So any system can use these APIs. For the repo server, it's an internal service that's responsible of two things. First, cloning your get repos and generating the Kubernetes manifests. For the application controller, it's a Kubernetes controller that keeps monitoring your running applications and compares the actual state in the destination cluster with the desired state in Git repos. So it communicates with the repo server to get the generated manifests. Also, it communicates with the Kubernetes API to get the actual application state. Also, it deploys the application manifests to destination clusters. Also, it detects out of sync apps and take corrective actions if needed. Also, Argo CD has some hooks that you can define, such as pre sync and post sync if you want to send a notification, for example, after syncing. These hooks is application controller responsibility. There are more components to explore. Redis is used for caching. And Dex, it's an identity service that integrate with external identity providers, such as integrating with GitHub. And application set controller is responsible of automating the generation of Argo CD applications that you can use, for example, if you want to deploy applications into multiple clusters. This is one of the use cases. That's it for this lecture. See you next.